Rob, exciting first day here at the March Cutis sale. Uh, we've secured, we try not to be too biased, but um, there was obviously a little bit of favouritism with this filly standing with, with us here. She's obviously the half sister to Scottish Mist, one of the best mares in our stable at the moment. He's absolutely flying, but not just the pedigree. We absolutely loved this filly. She's a ripping type by an exciting young sire, and I think we've bought great value again. We have, Ash, and uh, hi, James. Hi. <laughs> Uh, the Raheen team do a fantastic job with their horses. They've done the same again here. Golden Whistler, we know what a good job she's doing as a broodmare. Um, Scottish Mist is so tough. She's in again on Saturday for us, 1400. And we know she's going to give us 100%. Um, but to be honest, and I know I shouldn't say it, no disrespect to Misty, but I think this, uh, this filly's a better type at the same stage in her life. And I think you might agree on type. She's a better type. I know under the leaves a new sire, so we can't get too carried away just yet, but he's only had the three horses to run and had a winner and a place getter already in Melbourne. She's actually a ripping type. We rated her very, very highly on our scores here at the sale. She's a really well put together filly, beautiful mover. She's got an amazing attitude, just standing in, uh, very chilled out. Um, a similar sort of style of horse to Misty, but just a little bit more forward, isn't she? <laughs> And that's the key word, forward, I think. I think no doubt we'll give her every opportunity to go early. I mean, we looked after Misty a little bit initially as a two-year-old. We didn't push her, but this girl, I think we, uh, we'll give her an opportunity of going pre-Christmas, and that's something I don't do with a lot of babies. Yeah, damn golden whistler, not just Misty. Just had the five folds to race. Four winners, including the very good city horse, El Campador. And obviously under the loom, he won the Group 1 Stradbroke Handicap, so a Group 1 winner up in Queensland. She's cutest nominated, Magic Millions Race Series nominated, a great value filly, and yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll be um, pretty popular. I backed under the loom the next Stradbroke. I can't remember, is it 2015 or 16 or something? No, who knows, the years fly by. But uh, no, excited to get this, this filly, guys, and uh, come on board. Let's have some fun. Stut, stut, stuttering, get time by a half length. Rich Hips from nowhere will beat them both. And I am eloquent, has won it. Aristia won the oak from Graceful Glamour.